Hello everybody, today I will be upgrading my Alienware Aurora R13 computer uh, excuse me, with a SSC or two, so yeah, let's begin. So first things first, you're going to want to unplug the computer from all power connections and also be sure to hold down the alien head on the front, basically the power button, for about 10 seconds to make sure you discharge any electricity inside of it. And then you will unscrew um, a screw on the back of the case, which is on like a like a thingy next to a lock. I don't know what it's called. And then just pull that out to have access to the computer. You may have to pull out the side panel a bit. Uh, oh, that's on the other side. Yep, right there. So then once you have access to that, you will just pull it out. It's a bit firm, but... Like if you pull it out um, outwards and up, it should come out. And then just set that off to the side. And then to give you all a better view of the internals, I'll lay this down. Just like so. Okay. And now before proceeding, I suggest putting on an anti-static wrist strap to make sure you don't kill any of your components inside because static is a silent killer. So, yep, done that. And now you will start upgrading, basically. Oh, I just went into my case. So, side panel. So, first things first, I will be upgrading. Well, not upgrading. Well, I guess upgrading the storage of the computer by adding in a one terabyte inland professional um, SSD. It's a uh, SATA SSD and I plan to put it right here. So let me just quickly open that up. So here's a better look at it. So yeah. And just take that out. Okay. So I'm going to be upgrading it right here, just putting it into this little blue slot thingy. So here's this thingy, and you're going to, you see these metal things right here? On the SSD there are little metal things, you're going to want to make sure to put those metal things, like, they basically hold the SSD in I guess. So yeah, you just put them onto the SSD like this, and then, like, bam. Why is this so hard? Just put it in like that, and hopefully I didn't break anything. And uh, this one's not secure. Yeah, and then... Yeah. And that was a good noise. Okay. So now that we have our SSD secure inside that, we could easily put it back in, just like so. Uh, oh wait, wrong way. Just like so. And there we go. And now we're going to want to connect some cables to it. So I'm just going to quickly make sure that's secured. Okay, perfect. It is. So first things first, we're going to want to connect our power cable to it. So that's going to be this little thing right here. So we're just going to connect it so that it goes like this, goes like that. So just like that. This is a really tight squeeze. And my flashlight just turned off. Oh, that's fun. Um, alright, let me just get this one, so then just push it in, just like that, and then why did that turn off? No idea. Okay, so now we're going to want to connect our SATA cable, so then that's going to go into this slot right here, that's this cable right here, so basically, might as well connect it to the SSD first. So then, and where's the little thingy? So it's just gonna go in right like this. Make sure you do that click, that means it's connected. And then it's gonna go into here. Yeah. There we go. 
Okay. Then you could put the cables off to the side to manage them. I have horrible cable management skills, so yeah. I'll just leave this be like this, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? And now we're going to be upgrading, well, the storage yet again with another SATA SSD from Inland. It's an Inland Professional, um, 256 gigabyte SATA SSD. So we're going to put that right over here. So basically this is for a hard drive. I'm hoping, well, the SSD clearly won't fit in it, but SSDs have no moving parts. So it should be safe just to plop it in right there. Yeah. There we go. So if you can see, this is a lot bigger. It's for hard drive. So yeah. So I'm just gonna. Hmm. Should I connect one of these little thingies? And why not? I wonder if they'll make it secure at all. Yeah, that does not make it secure at all. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> So I guess I'll just put that off to the side and just plug in cables. So then this side already has a included SATA cable right here. So I can easily just plug that in to this slot. Uh, I should turn this SSD over. Yep. Right here. Oh wait, this is the right way, right? Nope. I should probably plug in the right way as I proceed to not... Okay, there we go. And now we will plug in the included power cable right here. So then just plug that in like we did last time. Yeah. Yeah. This is so hard to get a grasp on. Grasp on. So just do... Yeah, this is the right one. Why is it not going in? Oh, wait, it's going in. Okay, there. Just do that. And now I am not able to shove this in. Okay, yep, that's fine. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just quickly disconnect these. However, a person would do that. Oh, that was hard. Eh, that's fine. And then I'll just plug them in right inside of here because that seems to be a lot easier. So then... Okay, so I'm just going to plug these in. So twist this so then it's the right way. Oh, wait, is that the right way? No, that is not the right way. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> Supposed to twist the SSD. Then this could connect like so. Then just plop that in there. Take your power cord and then at, connect it. Like, yep, just make sure it's the right way. Yep, that's the right way. Connect it in. I think about it, I should probably use a longer one. Yep. Just connect it in. Look at that. Wonderful. An SSD in a hard drive storage area. <laughs> and then I guess I could plop this big thing back in, because why not? So then it goes like should I put this in like this? Okay, there. Okay, so this is the right direction, right? Oh wait, that's the in the way. So that's that's a bit troubling. Okay, just plop in the SSD into here. Alright. Just like that.
So now I could put this in. Just leave that on top of the RAM. Oh wait, I think I've been putting this in the wrong way the entire time. Yeah, yeah. oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> there we go. So no wonder I couldn't put it in. So then I'll just try to squeeze this in, like right here. And yay, I did something. Okay. So then we installed this SSD right here, and then this very loose SSD right there. It's not... It's hopefully not coming out anytime soon. Uh, camel management wise, it's fine. Yeah, I um, still have one thing that I can plug in there. And yeah. And then, like, a couple of days ago, I installed this NVMe M.2. I don't think I can get to reinstall that as it took quite a long time to apply that heatsink. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to put this case back this case side this side panel I yep the side panel back on however I would do that um oh wait okay this way just like this and then plop it in like so ah wonderful and now I will plug this in and hopefully it will boot. So now that you have your computer booted and you're on your home screen, you're gonna want to type into the search bar, um, what's it called? Disk Manager. And then this should show up and then just click enter and it will open. So then basically it'll show that you have two disks which are the two SSDs that I just installed that you need to set up. So basically make sure that it's, well, if you don't want it to be a uh, boot drive, make sure it's GPT and then basically press OK. So then once you select GPT for that, you're going to want to find your disks. So basically I had a bit of trouble finding them. That's why I kept recording because I didn't realize, oh, you could scroll down here with the scroll wheel. Well, scroll bar, so yep. So then if you have multiple disks on your computer, which are basically things storing things like SSDs, hard drives, etc., then yep, you may have to scroll down. So then here are the two that I just installed. There is disk 1 and disk 2, which are both SATA SSDs. So then to, ins to properly format them, you're going to want to press new simple volume, uh, go through step wizard, and then assign a random letter. I don't really care what letter it is. Um, might as well assign it Y because why not? And then you can name it. So then this is uh, this is the one terabyte one, right? Uh, yep, this is the one terabyte one. So then I'm just gonna name it one TB SATA, and then inland. I, I can't spell. That's how you spell it, right? I have no idea how to spell. Uh, I definitely... Okay, um, how do I spell this? Uh, yep, that's how you spell it. <laughs> okay, so then... Next, next, yes, okay. Finish. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so now that is inside. Well, it's properly formatted. You can see that right here as it, it as it's right there. And now I'm just going to do the same thing for this one. So then go through the wizard again. Um, I'm going to assign this one X. Why not? Because that's next to... Uh, yeah, that's next to Y. And then this is 256 gigabytes. So then 256 gigabytes. Uh, SATA. And there we go. Next and then finish. Wonderful. So now that I have everything done... I could just close this, open up my file thingy, put that right there, and then where are, so then it's going to be right here, uh, one terabyte, um, 266, and then these are already my installed SSDs. So wonderful. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching, and yep, this was a lot longer than I expected it to be. So yep, see ya.